if I right click on this chart setup component and go to chart setup um, it's going to open me into a new dialog and this dialog is going to contain some some settings and this can be pretty overwhelming but it's it's kind of fun to get in there and, and just test certain things out and see how it's impacting the overall graphics of the chart. The first component of this menu is that we have chart type so if we wanted to make this a bar chart for example it would reorient everything to be kind of bar chart centric. We'll stick with column charts for right now. Um, some of these options are not yet complete so uh, for right now the most resolved kind of chart type is this column chart and the bar chart behind that and then line chart is the, the least resolved so you can expect this to evolve in future releases. But if I go in and start adjusting the chart title you can see that that chart title is now growing and shrinking. Um, I can increase or decrease the padding around that chart title. I can choose to display it or not in these options. Category title, you know, again it kind of lets me you know, scale those appropriately. Um, if I go in and change the padding again, it's you know, allowing me to you know, adjust the spacing around that, those values. Labels are the ones that we really need to clean up, right? So I might want to make those really small. Um, the other thing that's really useful here is to actually rotate them, right? So if I you know, scale them to the appropriate size and then rotate them, we can start to uh, see what they're aligned with. Perfectly vertical there, we can see that each of these categories is aligned with a specific bar. Uh, group spacing, you know, we might want to have a little bit of spacing between those columns, right? So they're, they don't look like they're all connected as one kind of mass. We want, you want them to look distinct from each other. We can also adjust um, things like uh, you know, value title, right? If we want that to be bigger or smaller. We might want to show tick marks, right? We might want to show tick marks off to the side here to indicate what what they're what they're actually referring to. Um, we're going to want to change the the rounding here, and maybe we want to make a tick frequency of like 0.25, for example, just so we can kind of see we can start to see those those ticks now coming up. Um, and there's labels, right? So we can actually start to see the the labeling of those ticks label rotation if we want them to be kind of rotated horizontally for example. We can increase the tick length so if we want to kind of see those, those those ticks very clearly there we can do that. Um, one of the things I always like to do with charts like this is increase the data labels or add the data labels in which are the labels that might exist at the top of our chart. So we can start to actually see the value that they're representing on the chart itself. And then I'm just going to exit out of that, that settings dialog and um, I can go back and start to um, realign the kind of available space in real estate. You know, maybe I want to make this chart a little bit bigger at the bottom uh, so I can start to adjust the tiling. Um, I can start to adjust things like the padding just so it's kind of formatted the way I want on screen. But we now have a, a chart, right? This chart is overlaid on top of our model. It's occupying one tile in an overall uh, grid. We're then projecting that chart to the viewport. So this is like the most basic setup you could you could get with with Conduit. Um, all of the kind of components follow a very similar logic. Uh, the charting component, like we're seeing here for bar charts, is one of the more uh, expansive um, and complex. Uh, components that are available there in terms of how you can start to style and really modify some of these different uh, settings of the chart. Um, if I go into the Proving Ground tab and look at the heads up display, you can see that we've got uh, you know charts for all sorts of things. We got pie charts, bubble charts, and this this single chart component um, kind of encompasses line charts, bar charts, and column charts. So I hope this gives you enough to you know, start to dig in a little bit more um, and, and kind of understand the basic setup of Conduit. The potential here, of course, is to start to link these charts up to data that's meaningful to your parametric model. Right, right, right now I'm just using some random data that I'm, I'm creating, but you could start to you know, think about a parametric building mass that might have certain area requirements that you want to have displayed as this kind of heads up display. 
in your model. Um, you might have a fabrication model that has certain part requirements and you're wanting to get certain quantities. Um, so the sky's the limit and you know we hope that you know you start to, to dig in and, and start to enjoy conduit. Uh, it's an open source product. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any kind of questions or thoughts on future uh, on future features. Um, the source code's available through the website and we hope you we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.